I think the administration handled it properly. Uh, going into bankruptcy is a way I hope to bring this country, company back. Lawmakers react to General Motors' announcement that the 70-year-old car maker is bankrupt. With debt of more than $170 billion and assets of about $80 billion, the White House said it wouldn't put any more money into the failing company. We gave them a chance to develop a stronger plan that would put them on a path toward long-term viability. The bankruptcy filing displays an historic turn of events for a company that is still considered an American icon, but it's also a warning for the U.S. economy. Instead of vast successes, the company now symbolizes the country's economic challenges. Well, I think it shakes uh, people in my age group a little bit more than younger people who have seen a changing world and changing automobile world in their lifetime. Uh, I just think that uh, the reality is those things are going to happen all the time. After receiving billions in taxpayer dollars, General Motors' balance sheet problems will affect not only America, but the global economy. It will be forced to shut down more than 40 percent of its dealerships and lay off thousands of workers. Thousands of other workers from peripheral companies will be laid off as well. Some say the closures were a long time coming. Critics of the car industry say that car makers failed to make adjustments for fuel efficiency standards since the 1970s, setting them up for failures when fuel prices jumped like they did last year. Not only that, rising costs in health care are also hurting the U.S. economy. The impending layoffs are not adding to Americans' confidence either. In a Pew Research poll, Americans said they were less optimistic about their personal progress than at any time in a half century of polling. I'm not somebody who has been a proponent of jumping to bail out to bail out. I've got to make sure, as I've said earlier, that they have to have a long-term plan. However, some lawmakers are optimistic about the future of America's economy. We're seeing uh, uh, things, commodity prices go up, wheat prices go up, cattle prices stabilizing. Uh, I think all those are good signs. Tough choices in a struggling economy, where the rubber meets the road in the 21st century. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.